Using the command line interface to perform the installation of necessary features is much simpler than using the GUI. The commands are pretty straightforward. For example, to install PowerShell, you use the server manager cmd -i PowerShell and it will do the installation. To install all of the IIS prerequisites for a typical installation, rather than trying to remember the exact options you need to click, you would type the links that you see here on the screen, and it would handle the installation of the role and services for IIS. With a client access server, if you want to work with Outlook Anywhere clients, you have to install the RPC over HTTP proxy, so you can do that also from the command line. In addition, if you're installing an Edge Transport server, you wouldn't need IIS, but you do need the Active Directory Lightweight Directory services, and so you type the server manager command with ADLDS. If you have a unified messaging server, then you'll need the Windows Media Player audio video codecs, so you can type the server manager command with desktop dash experience. Obviously, typing in all of this can be tedious and can lead to a lot of errors, especially if your typing isn't so great. Well, best of all, you can put all of these together in a batch file, as you can see here. So let's say we needed to perform a typical installation on this server. We could use this batch file, kick it off and let it run, and once it completes, we're ready to perform our typical installation.